Hello everyone and welcome to Building Web Applications. My name is Steve Bishop from ProgrammingMadeEasy.com. Today we'll be covering the fairly straightforward and simple concept of headings. So oftentimes we need special headings above paragraphs or spans or divs, just some sort of header that helps us identify a section of the page. So what we can do is add headings. We can do anything from an H1 to an H6. There is no H7 and there's no H.5 or anything like that. It's all H1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Now the H1 is going to be the largest heading, whereas the H6 is the smallest heading. And then all the different values of H2, H3, H4, and H5 will be progressively smaller than the heading 1 all the way down to the smallest of heading 6. Let's just drop in a couple of headings in our document that we've been working on. So when we were doing our unordered and ordered lists, we were adding these headings above our lists. But we weren't doing it quite the proper way, I guess you could say, because what we did instead was just simply add them as divs with strong text to make them bold. But I'd like to change these so that they're actual appropriate headings. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and drop the div and the strong in front of the to-do list and also the closing corresponding tags. And instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an H tag. I'm going to go ahead and do the largest one for the to-do list. So let me just take that closing H1 tag and add it to the end of our to-do list text. And if we save this, let's go take a look at it in our browser. Okay, so that's pretty good. We've got a fairly large to-do list there. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do this for the same thing down here on our most populated cities in the US. Now this is probably not worthy of an H1 tag. Uh, I wanna make it a slightly smaller heading. So instead of doing H1, I'm gonna do something like, oh, I don't know, H3. All right, let's add the closing H3 tag, just move it over here to the end of our most populated cities in the US and save that change. Once again, refresh our browser. And now we can see that it is indeed smaller than the to-do list. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bring over that little heading one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, code snippet that we just saw in the slide. And I just wanna show you something kind of unique about headings. So we'll just paste this in here and we'll do a little auto formatting here. There we go. We'll go ahead and save this. And now let's once again refresh. And if we scroll down here to the headings, something that you might notice is the distance between each heading is the same. So regardless of which heading you are using, the amount of space around the heading is going to be the same. It's just something to remember is that your headings are always going to have some sort of space. And that really helps to identify that this, this is going to be a heading of a particular section. So there you go. That's headings. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You just have to wrap whatever the text is that you want as your heading inside of one of these H tags with the value of one through six, depending upon the size of the font that you want. Special thanks again to these members for joining and being a member of ProgrammingMadeEasy.com. Your contributions really help to make the channel grow, so I really appreciate it. If you're interested in also becoming a member, all you have to do is click on the Join button on either the main channel or underneath any one of the videos. If you don't see the Join button, then unfortunately that means that it's not available in your country. But that's okay. Thanks for thinking of me anyway. Yeah.